J Rod, which yeah. today, you know what I'm saying, is a new, you know, it got released today. Um, what did you think about that? I was shocked. I didn't think that that, think was that was gonna happen. Be. When when was the last time that they, they didn't somebody just fired the just a GM? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I When's the last yeah. time that's happened? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't usually know. Usually it's the GM and the coach type thing. Right, together. And usually it's like on some so they're seven and five. Usually it's on some like two and ten type. Yeah, right. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, we yeah. tank this type. team we is get three games here. ahead of anybody else. And that's you the crazy know thing they're going to have a, yeah. a. They're going to ho- you're hosting a playoff game. Right. You fire your GM like it's so it, you have to wonder. And I, I dug and dug and dug because I'm like, damn, did, did like did something else happen off the field, non football related? <sighs> that, that would be that would be. Well, they Everyone did, said they no. Drop that video with them in the in the war room. Draft on draft oh, day. That's I, I think that's I think there's a power struggle oh, shit. because you have to look at what Mike Vrabel said. Always, um, he he has said before I can only coach the players that that are provided. Mm. Facts, you facts, know, facts. And which is a fact. But you don't yeah. normally hear a coach say that, yeah, right? I mean, and you know, you like you said, the video. He had to get up and walk it off. Yeah, you know when they traded AJ. Let some, AJ. Let's, oh, let's some frustration. Yeah, out. and you, you know, listen. you know he yeah. loves AJ because I watched. Yeah. I watched him tear up talking about yes. AJ. You know, and, yeah. and you know the thoughts of taking his life. Yes, right. you know what I mean. So you know it, it. It crushed him. Right. I wonder if after seeing that, what AJ did, I wonder if that was like hey, if look, it didn't. Right. No, nah, yeah, that's it. And then you combine uh, that with the fact like Robert Woods, like he's. He's a good player normally. I don't know that he's back from that knee, and you're paying ten million for that. You know what I mean? And then you got Vic Beasley, who I know that there were two sides to that story, as far yeah, as I him coming two, in. Yeah, I didn't hear two sides to yeah, that story too. Yeah, because I was told like no way would we sign him because he's not our type of guy. But then you see him get signed, and I'm like, dang! I thought you told me like that's not your type of right. dude. You know what I mean? So then that one, you know what happened there, and then you got the clowny. So you you're talking about right there. That's that's. That's in one year. I tell you, that's what thirty. Oh, we didn't even get into that yet. That's thirty million or no twenty million invested, and you got zero sacks. Damn. You know what I mean? And then you talk about Isaiah, and I think that's the the clutch, the crutch of, of, of the offense. Isaiah Wilson. Then that didn't work out. Well, first you didn't bring back Jack Conklin. That would have been that would have been the one first round pick that you had to resign because mind you. Since J. Rob took over, and I'm not trying to kill J. Rob because he's a thorough dude and good people, but since he's taken over, there hasn't been one first round pick to sign a second deal, not one. That's true. Not one. Adore. Now Jeff Simmons should be the first one, he, but yeah, if they would have signed Jack Conklin, that would have been the one. So he didn't go, and then you got Isaiah Wilson, that debacle, and you had to turn around and reinvest money in right tackle again with Dylan Radins. Mm-hmm. That hasn't worked out. Even though you tried to give him the job, a third round pick, which mind you, so that's a first round pick, second round pick, third round pick in one position. Nicholas Petit Ferrer beat out Dylan Radins. And now here you are with the struggle on the offensive line. Damn. That's the crutch right there. And then you pair that with trade and AJ, and that just, you know. Hey, personnel, he he wasn't going to do the personnel. Well, yeah, you know what that just showed me? It should show everybody. My brother would probably win coach of the year again. <laughs> 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 ah, damn. He, yeah, did, he fight through all yeah. that using 100 players per roster. <laughs> they are like 76 now. That's crazy. <sighs> like gonna, the personnel, man. Yeah. That's crazy. I, mean, I get it. But I feel like as a player going through the building, because everybody always asks, especially through social media, hey, how, what you feel like, don't you, like da, da, da. Mm-hmm. But I feel like for a player, unless you like those top guys are just, Got to interact with them all the time. Yeah. It's like, all right, because, you know, seeing you walk past the GM or right. somebody, if you not known on the team like that, if you're not one of the top you guys, so you just be like, all okay. right, keep right. it moving. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, me, yeah, I'm a holler at J-Rock. You know what I'm saying? I, I, in my late, in my, I'm talking about in my first couple of years, the rounds. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm keeping moving. Yeah, J. Rob, I'm gonna fuck with J. Rob. I'm gonna say some shit. Fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? All that. Yeah. But so that's why when people, I, I get what uh, people, a lot of people come from as far as when they, when you look at the overall picture mm-hmm. from what 2016, 2017 on to now. So now I get to see it from outside looking in. I'm usually inside the building. You just think about it, just like variable dude, next man up. Right. 
You don't look at it no Next certain way like no, that yeah, person. You, you just like, all right, damn. Well, like even all right. even Cody House, everybody on his on that man's head. But right. to me, it's like, I mean, I, I get it. But I just seen the man put the work in a little bit. I I get it. Right. So hold on. So I got a question. Y'all, do y'all think more GM should get fired across the league? I think it depends on the situation. Uh, well, this I mean, this is the first time in. Just you talking about just GM and not coach? Well, right, 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 right. Oh, that's a tough question. I feel that's, that comes from the owner. I think that's a case by case scenario. Right, of course, case you by know, case. But, but I'm like, it don't happen though. Right. They don't Normally, really, they it's, don't really it's, just fire the GM. I feel like if, you, yeah. if the owner is going to want to oh, win, yeah. if, if, if it's going to go with whoever going to give the best chance, to win. but they don't. The but they don't. But they ain't really move like that. That's why. Yeah. That's why I they bring think, the question up. I think. I think in this case, in this case, yes. What they probably yeah, because the way that they're looking at it is okay. You're the cook, right? And you're cooking decent food, but it's with the groceries that are given to you. Mm -hmm. Right. We're going to give you better groceries and we're going to change this thing to yep. five-star. You right. know what I mean? That's right. why I think they're right. they're taking it. Yeah, no, nah, that's what you got to do, man. 